Hello again, do-it-yourselfers. Terry Peterman, the internet electrician. Today we're here in beautiful Costa Rica and I'm at the Iguana Villas. Some friends of mine called me up and asked me to take a look at their pool pump that quit working. So let's have a look at where the problem is. All right, so here I am inside the laundry room and when I got here, there was actually two problems going on. First one was a trip breaker in this lovely panel we have inside the laundry room. So this was the breaker for the pool pump. It was tripped and it would not reset. So I actually removed it from the panel, got it to reset somehow. It was very sloppy and there was no spring action whatsoever, but a few flips back and forth and I got it to reset. So I didn't want to chance it tripping again and not resetting. So I actually stabbed it back onto the bus bar here hot got the pump back going and we needed to replace this breaker and like I said also the breaker was tripped up at the pool pump area underneath their waterfall where the pump is housed. So in there that little panel also the breaker was tripped like I said one side only so I pushed that one down it reset okay. Don't know what caused it we get a lot of power surges here so might have been just a good power surge that caused them both breakers to trip. So. As I said, I was able to reset this one and get them going, but I went and purchased two new breakers for them and we're going to replace them. So let's have a look inside this panel and maybe just give you a little enlightenment as to how sometimes things are done here in the beach areas of Costa Rica where there's uh, limited resources at times and sometimes things just don't get done exactly right. So let's get at it. I'll open up this panel and we'll show you what's inside. So I'm just going to give you a little handheld camera work here. First thing you're going to notice, of course, is that things aren't done exactly the way they should be. So you've got a, a panel mounted inside the wall here, inside a concrete wall. And so, of course, when you do that, whatever you start with and the conduits going in it, that's pretty much where things end unless you make provisions to add other circuits. So as you see over the years here, people have added wiring some of this goes out to a carport area just drilled through the wall, single conductors, little tape on them. As you see here, some tie wraps and you've even had some splicing going on and they just kind of slip inside the panel, panel cover here. So of course you can't put the panel cover on very tight. Otherwise you're going to pinch and short out conductors. So you wonder that you would think maybe I should fix things up a little bit, but you know, it's kind of like when you move into a new home or a used home you're buying and you see maybe a, a little paint that looks like a black spot on the wall and you think, oh, that's just a piece of, piece of dirt on that wall. Well, so you try to scrub it off and pretty soon you find out that's not dirt, it's mold and dig a little deeper and the whole piece of drywall is moldy and then you open up that wall and you find out the insulation is rotten and the exterior lathing is rotten and you know how it goes. So on it goes. So basically you just kind of go with the flow here and do what you have to do to get things done. So if you started to try to fix this all up correctly, you'd be here for days and yeah, you know where I'm going with this. So you can see here, they've added a demand hot water heater, just ran some pipe along the wall here to run the wires. They tuck those inside the panel at least. So at least the cover doesn't pinch them, but then you just got some, Protective conduit is all that is, so it's just some protection, but it's actually just PVC water line. But that's better than nothing to protect the, the cable that comes out of the hot water heater and then pops into the panel. So basically you just have to turn a blind eye to a lot of stuff here. You will see things here in Costa Rica like green conductors for hot wires because that when the guy came to wire something up, maybe all he had was green wire. Maybe all that was available at the ferreteria or the hardware store, maybe all they had was green wire. So if they got 14 or 12 gauge green wire, you use that from the breaker and away you go. And no, again, it's not right, but it happens and we just have to do the best we can. Now, oh, let's look in here. I think what you're seeing there is the skeleton of a little lizard that got across some bus bars. So he's all dried up no longer causing an issue. <laughs> so there you have it. I'm going to change that 20 amp breaker, 20 amp two pole breaker. It was tripped and I'm going to shut it off now 
and it was so loose that I could just flop it back and forth and it did virtually nothing. So we're going to change it. We changed the one up in the bodega where the pump is. And so we're going to have one spare one because it was okay, but this one definitely I would trust. So let's disconnect those wires and change this breaker. Okay, have a look at my little friend in here. Can you see him? Now these guys, you find them glued across bus bars all the time. So if that little guy gets his tail onto those two incoming hot wires, which are double lugged and off to something else, he's going to be found in here the next time we open the panel, all cooked across the bus bars. But hey, you can't teach them. They're good to have around because they eat bugs, but they do cause issues with electrical all the time. So you should get out of there, little guy. Get out. Get, get, get. Don't hit that bus bar while I'm looking at you. Of course, that could make for good TV. See his head there? Come on, buddy, get out of there. No, he's not coming out. Okay, so I've pulled out the old breaker and I disconnected the wires from it and just hooked them up to the new breaker. I pulled it out of the panel to do that. Now with the breaker off, make sure those wires are good and tight. Wiggle them a little bit with stranded conductors. You always want to wiggle them and retorque them because as soon as you wiggle them, they come loose again. So my little lizard is gone from in here. No, no, he isn't. He's peeking out here behind the, behind the neutral bus bars. So let's get this closed up before he explodes across the bus bars. So I'm going to put this breaker back in now. These are Eaton style breakers. It's quite common here in Costa Rica. And they hook at the back first and then they clamp on to the bus bar. All right, we'll turn that back on. Turn your head away in case the lizard explodes. I can hear the pool pump going. So now I'm gonna fasten these wires up as best I can as we had them. My good buddy Dave, El Diablo Mendoza. <laughs> he had them all nicely strapped up here. And like I said, you just do the best you can with what you have to work with. And if you can make something just a little bit safer, then that's good. So we'll connect those back up, put the panel cover back on loosely with only two screws. And then we'll give you a little little quick video tour around the iguana villas here. Okay, so I just tie wrapped those wires back up, got the panel cover back on as best we can. Breakers on. See all those extra spots should have knockout fillers in there, but probably wouldn't even be able to find any in a, in a Ferra 3 or a hardware store here. So let's go have a tour of the grounds a little bit here before we say goodbye. There's my buddy, Dave King. Hello, Hello, Master of Sparks Terry. Once again, you came through and we appreciate all your help and knowledge. <laughs> you are welcome, Dave. Dave, El Diablo Mendoza. <laughs> That's what we call him. So here we are. We'll just give you a quick tour of the Iguana Villas. We've stayed here ourselves, Sandy and I. We stayed in that casa right there called number one. Villa number one or Villa one. And got the lovely pool area. We've got the waterfall. There's me amigo Mike and his wife or girlfriend. That's where the pool pump equipment is. Here's their rancho. We've had many good parties here and dinners hosted by the gang here. And I'll just show you where that pool pump is. And underneath the waterfall. Into the back cave we go. So here's the other panel. You thought the first one was scary. Welcome to the pool pump panel. We don't have a cover for this one, but authorized personnel only. Here's a switch for the pool lights, which I also fixed up for them. They had, both of them weren't working. So a couple years ago, we changed the entire niche and housing for one of them. And then this here, we got the second one going. So just a little weatherproof cover on top of that switch turns on the pool lights. And here we are underneath the waterfall where all the pool equipment is. And back out the rest of the villas. There's I think 12 in the group here. 
12 units or 10. Correct me if I'm wrong. All right, so that's a wrap from the Iguana Villas in beautiful Junquial, Playa Junquial, Costa Rica, Guana Costa area. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this a like, subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate that very much. And don't forget to click that notification bell. And that way you'll know when I release a new video. So again, from Costa Rica, thanks for watching. Terry Peterman, the internet electrician.